Well, the weather outside is frightful, and the demon creature isn't really delightful. There's simply no place to go, cause we're stuck in this cursed fucking snow. Hey guys, if you guys have not seen The Terror, you should watch it. You really need to watch this. This is one of the best examples I can give to you of slow building horror. This is one of the best horror thriller television shows I've ever seen. It makes actual horror movies look like shit almost in comparison. The show is itself based on two things, first being the novel by Dan Simmons, who has his own little supernatural what-if sort of situation of the actual Lost Franklin Expedition, where the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror tried to navigate through the Northwest Passage, which is kind of above northern Canada, and got stuck, and, well, bad things happened. This show is fantastic. And first, I'll say the one surprise it was made by AMC, yet there's not a single American, that, as far as I can tell, that's in it. It's made by Brits, it stars Brits, and most likely it was made in the UK. So again, I don't really know how this show got onto the AMC, but fuck, I don't care, this show's great. The show has a bunch of characters, one of them being Captain Crozier, who's played by Jared Harris, who kills it in this. It also has Caesar and Brutus. These two haven't been together since HBO's Rome, so it was cool seeing these two work together. As I said, the show's about these ships and their crews as they try to navigate through this passage, they get stuck in the ice, and what happens to them afterwards. Throughout the first episode, you will notice there is this building tension. Not this kind of in-your-face jump scare stuff. If I'm correct, I think there's barely a jump scare throughout the entire season. What we get instead is just slow building tension and horror. There's no really loud music, there's no really in-your-face like what we get from normal cliche horror movies. What we get instead is this slow feeling of dread, as if we were reading a novel. And I think that it does so well by doing this. We get a great introduction as well as a consistent following with these characters. And as things start to really turn to shit, we get more connected with them, but at the same time, we just see the madness of humanity and the absolute terror of humanity itself. There's a lot of great characters in this, one of them being Mr. Hickey, who's a little devil little shit and you will come to hate him as the season progresses. But probably one of the best parts of the season, I'll be a little spoiler with this, is how they portray the thing out in the ice. They do a great job with it in terms of how they reveal it, in terms of how they don't for the longest fucking time, how they build the absolute terror of this thing, and it's just an absolute horror fest every time it comes on the screen. Again, not really loud music, but every time you know what's around, you get scared because of how terrifying this thing is. Again, extremely well-established horror and really nail-biting tension throughout the entire season. As for negatives, I think probably the biggest one is that there's too many minor characters. There's going to be a lot of parts where you'll see these guys talking with each other and conversing and you'll be sitting there going, who are you? And that's the problem. You're going to have some characters who you remember just from look and then there's others that because these guys are in their garb all the time, there's not a lot to really distinguish them. The book itself is pretty long, so they did a good job of compacting it. By the way, I like this show so much, I'm actually listening to the audiobook right now, which is 28 hours long, so it's taking a little while to get through. But as the show continues, as the desperation builds, as the absolute hopelessness for these guys continues, you will be drawn in every single episode. Now, admittedly, if you actually look up what actually happened with the expedition, 
you know what happened. But probably one of the cooler parts about this show is what's actually happening right now. They found the actual Erebus in 2014 and they found the actual HMS Terror in the water in about two years ago. So not only is the show a great narrative that you guys should watch, but the actual thing that's happening right now is just as interesting. If I'm correct, there is a documentary coming out about the discovery of the ships, as well as talking about what actually happened. Like, obviously the show isn't what actually happened. It's basically the same thing, just without the it that's in it. If you guys have not seen The Terror, I would highly suggest it. It's the best television show I've seen in a long while. It was so good, I re-watched it, I'm listening to the audiobook, and I cannot wait to read more about what's actually going on. So, in the end, I'm very happy to say this, but I'm going to give The Terror a 7 out of 7. A show that starts strong and ends strong is a very, very rare thing. But anyways, that's all for me, guys check it out. I highly recommend it. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.